I've been having a lot of critical self-talk lately in a way that I haven't had in a long time. And I think some of it is time of year and some of it is my frustration with my career, with books that are so important to me that I've written, my publishers not taking them on, my book Scar is being repeatedly banned, my self-published book not reaching a ton of people yet. And I find the self-criticism hard and it does remind me, it's like echoes of my abusers, but it's happening like in many, many parts of my life. Um, and for little things and big things. And I'm trying to remind myself and others inside who are repeating like old negative messages that it doesn't belong, that it's something that they were taught by my cult abusers, by my abusers, and that it's important to be gentle with myself and have compassion and patience the way I would for someone else. And I hope that you're also able to do that because it really can be healing when we're able to be gentler with ourselves, more compassionate, and let some of that negative self-talk and harsh self-criticism go. Because we don't deserve to be talked to that way. We do deserve our own compassion and empathy and love. And I'm working on that again in a way that I haven't in a while. And I'm glad that I'm paying attention to it. It's important to pay attention to how we talk to ourselves because it really can affect us. And I know for me that the more negative I am with myself, the more despair I have, or depression, or just feeling awful. But the more that I can talk kindly to myself, the more goodness I have for myself and others, the more energy, the more compassion. It's really important. 